After Strindberg, Lagerlöf, and Gabo, Ingmar Bergman has today the only international eminence created in and through Swedish art. And in and through his vision, his films have influenced the whole world. These motion pictures provide his deeply personal view of the human condition. Perhaps because he is a director who is by definition a writer, and a writer who is by extension a director, and the producer of both. The images he conjures up are extreme, abnormal, picturesque. Apparitions of death, flagellation, witch burning, cruelty and horrors. And startlingly parallel to these, mortality and immortality, marriage and family, old age, the need for self-knowledge and compassion, and what it is really like to be alive today. And he always wants to know exactly what he is going to do. And because he has succeeded so brilliantly in converting his own emotions and dreams into objective audience experience, we salute him with the Irving Thalberg Award Given, given from time to time to that filmmaker who has been responsible for consistent excellence, innovation, and integrity in the literature of the screen. Because his work makes it impossible to join us tonight, he has sent a lovely surrogate, a lady who has starred in many of his films, including Persona, Hour of the Wolf, The Shame, and The Passion of Anna, a Norwegian actress who has made her success in Sweden and who fortunately for all of us speaks delightful English. It is exciting to welcome Miss Liv Ullmann. This is my uh first visit to Los Angeles, and I have enjoyed every moment of it. I've met a lot of warm, generous people, and I am very happy that Ingmar Bergman asked me to represent him on this big occasion. Though I would have been more happy if he himself could have been here tonight, getting personally all the respect and love which has been shown him. He has asked me to say to you that he's sitting on his little island in the Baltic writing on a new script. He isn't here because he feels that a long trip at this moment would do great harm to his concentration on work. And he believes that he shows his respect and gratefulness to the honor bestowed to him by the board and members of the academy by staying home, finishing his script. And he also feels that this fantastic award will inspire him in his fulfillment of his work. Ingmar Bergman says, I am deeply touched and very, very grateful.